Hi guys, this is Vishal from Prapcode. So in this video, we will understand the link and link box component. So what link box and link components are and how they are used. So links are basically a hyperlink which are needed to navigate from one page to another. Okay, so let's say here we are. So and we want to create a button to take us to a page where uh, someone will uh, create a new person. Or maybe let's say we want to add a link here. So how do we do it? So all these uh, components are linked by default. So I'll just not use it. Let's create a new component. So before that, I'll just create a page. I'll say a new page, create person. Okay. And I'll create a link and a link box component to go from a home page to person create page. I'll come back to my home page. And now let's drop a link component. Okay, so I'll go to my components and drop a link. Okay, so I just drop it here. You can drop it wherever you want. Okay, and here these are the settings. So you can choose that, okay, go to create person page. If you want to send some ID or if you want to send data from logged in user, you can use all these fields. But as of now, I don't want to send anything. So that is, some, that is something which we'll cover in the next videos. So I'm just saying on click of this link, just go to person create page, that's all. Okay, and I'll just change the name to create person. And I'll say uh, just float right, so align right, and maybe change uh, the default classes to bootstrap classes btn primary. Okay, create person, that's all. Now let's drop a link box component. So I'll look for link box, link box. So link box is something which basically makes anything clickable so let's say we have put a card or we have put an image or we have put anything whatever is there inside the link box will be clickable so now let's make a but a image clickable so i'll just do the same thing create person and here in the link box i'll just add one image before that let me increase the height and width so default is 50 pixel which you can always change it so let's say 200 pixel and height is auto okay so this is my link box now let's go and drop an image go to the component and look for an image and just drop it here inside the link box okay so it may not have gone inside the link box so we can just go to the layer manager and see so image is outside so i'll just move it inside okay and let's say this is the image okay now what we are saying on click of this take me to a person create page okay and uh, let's i think there is some minimum height so the image is getting distorted okay so it should be other way around i'll say width is 100 height is auto Okay, so or let's say with this 200. So here I'll say height auto like this. Okay, so basically you need to make sure that okay the parent component should have the height which uh, more height of it more than what the child component is expecting. So I'll just open the preview. We don't have anything on the create person page, so just drop something so that we know that okay. It has taken us to the right page. So I just drop this and probably I'll drop a, a two column layout or maybe a header which say person create. Let's say create person. That's all. Now, if I either click this or this, this should take me to the person create page. So let's try. So I'll click this a person create page. I'll go back click this so you see the whole image is clickable post and create page okay so this is how the link and links link box component works hope you enjoyed the video see you again in the next video bye bye